Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a um, planet reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be Jupiter. This will be Saturn. And in the middle will be Pluto. This is spirituality, truth, your truth, and what is hidden. Okay? And I will go through them with you as I pull them. I hope everybody's doing well. Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Oh, I didn't say it before. My name is Anya. Let's, uh, let's see what we got for my Geminis. All right. Jupiter energy, Jupiterian energy. I only got two, but I'm going to take emotional loss and spirituality. Did you lose somebody recently? There's a cha big change here. I can feel it. And in your truth, you're using your intuition to get to the bottom of what, anything that's that's probably bothering you. And what is hidden is your recognition and reward. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, let's see. What, which chakras are they in the area of? There's something you have lost here recently. It changed your, changed your world. I can feel that. Let me make sure I uh, mix these up real good. These are your chakra cards. The seven chakras. Let's see. Crown chakra. You lost something. That almost tells me like um, you've lost some sort of a connection in your crown. Sacral. Using your intuition. And your creativity and throat this is what's hidden this is what you need to speak up then we got five five here two two and five five wow synchronicities okay <clears throat> we'll find out what the loss is what the intuition is telling you and the recognition and reward that you apparently deserve and need to speak up for. So let's let's check that out. Okay. All right. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can look up your planets on astro astrotheme.com your Jupiter, your Saturn, and your Pluto, and see what sign they're in. Gemini's got a lot of stellions, so they could have all these planets in Gemini. Um, just go to astrotheme.com and look up your information. It's pretty easy. So there was something that you got, you've figured out here in your spiritual realm that has cause some kind of loss in your emotional area in your heart okay this is uh your intuition is somebody criticizing you making you feel less than it's it's garbage okay and it's it is stunting your growth and your throat chakra's got pessimism so it's feeling like you can't do anything about anything that's what pessimism is you can always change the outcome, Gemini. You can always change it. But there's something in, in your crown chakra that was lost here. That's your spirituality. Something has made you give up. We got uh, um, Pisces here. And it, it was a secret. Something big, I'm feeling. And it was a huge secret. Oops. Oh, yeah. 
Ten of Swords. This secret cost you a lot of grief. Wow. I'm feeling like you you wanted to give up because you're just so done. Ten of Swords. So done. After the moon, which is secrets of some kind. There was some kind of secret that caused you your heart to break. Oh, wow. Let's see what else we can get here. Oh, <clears throat> fell off. Okay, seven of wands. And put that on the bottom. Let's see what we got here. It was a fair situation, but it was a costly one. And this was a destined situation that left you in shambles. Oh my goodness, Gemini. Wow. Okay, whatever this was, I believe it took away your faith. But you were meant to do this because you're supposed to rebuild off this. You're supposed to come come back from this. So, I mean, it, it's really put a damper in your faith. And I feel that pretty strongly. What's in Saturn, though? Look what we have here. We got the Eight of Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Sun. Okay, there is somebody here in your reality, in your truth, that is a go-getter that works hard. Could be you. Works hard, go-getter, to get what they want in life. And this is the truth. This is your truth. You're, you're wanting... You'll do whatever it takes. You'll work as hard as you need to to get that sun. And that's, you know, I mean, that's beautiful. Oh, I see. Sacral chakra. So we're, this is somebody you're attracted to. That's what the Queen of Wands is here. He's Leo Sagittarius. Yeah. King of Cups. All right. So this is somebody that I feel like, you know, you're scared of any kind of criticism from because you're interested in them. Okay? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, it could be anybody because we got Leo, we got Pisces, Capricorn, um, you know, and the Earth sign there. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it, it could be anybody as far as the energy goes of who this person is that you're afraid to get any kind of criticism from. Um, and you're wanting to offer them your, your pinnacle and your cup, your love and your money. But there's, there's a little bit of a block here and yeah, this is how you feel deep down. A lot a lack situation for making an offer you need to you need to speak up here this is where this is where you need to speak your truth in order to get the reward and recognition that you want out of this situation you're going to need to speak your truth you're going to have to transform this lack mentality in from a five of pentacles to i can do it i can do this Stop being pessimistic. Stop thinking you can't do it because you can do it. The Pluto is here to tell you you can do it. And you, it, this is what's hidden in your psyche. You have what it takes. Even if you are burnt out from a previous situation, you're justified in how you feel. But don't let it stunt your growth. Because you're you're growing, you're doing real well here, and you're on your way to what what it is that you know you deserve, which is this, and you are the magician. You can make this happen. You can manifest this situation any way you like. All right. This is this is this is just a, a mental state of mind. Okay. The Five of Pentacles is is feeling like you're left out in the cold. So. But you're not. 
Pluto has got you, Gemini. It's got you. All right. All around energy. Ten of Cups. So you're going through a rebirth. Okay. You. It may not seem like it right now because you're in that emotional loss kind of state of mind. But there is somebody here for you. Whether it be... I'm almost feeling like this is an older person, like mid middle aged, and and to get that son that you want, somebody's got to make an offer either to you or you to them. All right, somebody's got to step up and make that offer, to come up, overcome whatever's blocked here in the sacral chakra, which is your sexuality. So I see that as sexuality and not so much creativity here. I think you're worried that somebody's going to crit criticize you and your sexuality. And that, but there's somebody here for you that is willing to give you the sun. Are you willing to give them the sun? All right, that's absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know where you'd have any complaints about. How that's going to work out. This, this energy is going to be around for a few months, guys. So, you may be at this state still. You've lost something. It's understandable if it takes you time to get it back. But your intuition is telling you that it's, that's totally possible. It's totally possible. And Spirit and Pluto are telling you, not only is it possible... But it's justified. This manifestation is completely justified. Any way you slice it. Okay. You got clear on whatever this was. This did not work. And I don't know if it's. You know this could be an actual death guys. For all I know. I, You know I'm not you. So I'm not dealing with your truth. But. I almost feel that way about this, that somebody's spirituality has been tested and, and it was a destined, faded thing. The heart print, spirit communication and paying attention. Okay. Let's see what this has got to say. I'm pretty sure I know, but I like reading it out of the book. It sounds more uh, eloquent. Um, the heart prints. Let's see. Where are you, heart prints? There it is. Okay. We have the hawk prince appears with good news. He flies into your life to alert you that a message is coming to help you manifest your destiny. Expect a phone call, letter, email, or conversation that lets you know the next step to take towards your greatest good, or to tell you that you've arrived at an important stage along the path. The Hawk Prince is also an ally for spirit communication, so pay attention when you think you hear something important pop out at, out at you on the TV, the radio, or in overhearing the conversation of strangers. Spirit is constantly in dialogue with you. Are you listening? Stay open and expect spirit to speak to you and show you the way to your prosperity in all aspects of your life. I rest my case. I rest my case, Judge. Okay? Because this tells it all. You may be in this kind of energy right now, Gemini, but you're headed for you're headed for very, very good things. And um look up the sky because and say hello to your planets because they're going to tell you a story. All right? Well, that's all I have for you this week, Gemini. Please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed that. Comment below. And I will see you next week. Till then, stay safe, stay well, and take care. Bye for now.